Hey guys, it's Sasha. So today I'm gonna teach y'all how to quilt because girl, it's summer and you know what summer means? Getting ready for the next school year. So we need to look good, we need to look clean, we need to look extra pretty and eat the girls down, okay? So I'm gonna let y'all in on my favorite secrets for glowing up. So if you and your friend are trying to glow up, your mom's trying to glow up, send this to them, send this to your aunt, send this to your sister, send this to your twin, anybody y'all could also even make a challenge out of it like okay so first thing i'm going to talk about is your hair now i swear i've been struggling with my hair it's my downfall but here are some tips for you guys so your hair doesn't look messed up so one thing i'm gonna say is a haircut like if your hair looks raggedy at the bottom you have split ends that's not cute remember health over length any day you can always get extensions like that's the thing about it I guess this can go into the hair category, but shape your brows, please. Always make sure to maintain your brows because your brows can change your entire face shape. Use a hair mask one to two times a week because you always want your hair to look healthy as possible. You want it to look shiny, glowy, stuff like that. Because that is the cutest thing a girl can have, honestly. If you have raggedy hair, but you're pretty, it's just like, it's just like she could fix her hair but like otherwise like wouldn't you want everything to look good you know what i mean use hair oil after your shower if you want your hair to grow if you want it to look healthy also take some vitamin supplements for your hair because those will always be your best friend also look up ideas on youtube for your face shapes like if you have a diamond face shape a square face shape stuff like that get haircuts that will go with your face shape also getting framing pieces for your face that's good. Learn how to blow dry your hair. I'd say invest in like a good like Dyson or something like that, especially with curly hair, because when you're straightening your hair, when you have curly hair, like I did that damaged my hair really bad, it does not end well. Also doing those like cute little blowouts with your straight hair and stuff like that always look bomb. Learn how to do just like a basic ponytail sleek stuff like that because it's always gonna make you look clean on your worst days. Also, this is a really big one. Redye your hair if it's needed, because if you dyed your hair red and then it suddenly is orange and it looks like that orange it just faded away you can literally tell that's not the move girl so make sure you're looking your best and if you're gonna dye your hair then make sure you can keep in the process of it okay next is hygiene girl you have and i mean have to brush your tongue every single day please get a tongue scraper. There are tongue scrapers on Sheen for literally $1. I have one from Sheen. It's just a basic metal one and it works wonders. Also, don't forget to brush the roof of your mouth. Some of you guys forget to brush the roof of your mouth and it's just like, girl, that is a part of your mouth too. Like everything in your mouth, you should be brushing. Floss, floss, please floss. You do not want to be that person that has plaque on their teeth. That is one of the nastiest things ever. I, I've met, I've never really met a girl with plaque on her teeth, but a dude with plaque on her teeth is probably one of the nastiest things ever. You can see it. It's just so gross. Like, all you have to do is brush your teeth. A toothbrush is $2. Please get a toothbrush. Clean your nails and remove, like, any hanging nails and stuff like that. Take care of your nails. Or also take a supplement for your nails, hair, skin, stuff like that. Because you do not want to be one of those people that have dirt under the nails. So always get your nails done or clean your nails. And if you can't do that, please like polish them with like clear gel or something like that. Because that's always going to look good. That's one of the biggest things that can make you clean or look dirty. Use face masks every single week. If you have acne and stuff like that, I recommend the Ordinary Mask. It's like this black charcoal one. It works so good. Or the Aztec Clay Mask. Oh, that's probably my all-time favorite one. Don't forget to brush your lips too because you do not want all that peeling all over your lips. Also, do not forget your skincare as well as your moisturizer for your body, like lotion, oils, and stuff like that because you always want to have your skin looking smooth. That That is just so big. You do not want to have ashy elbows, ashy knees, ashy toes, like just stuff like that. Okay, next is health. So if you need help with health, like dieting and working out and stuff like that, please go watch my other YouTube videos. I'll put the links in the caption. Sleep is so, so, so important. It helps with, like if you're trying to lose weight, if you don't have a good sleep schedule, it's gonna be 10 times harder to lose weight, 100%. Your skin, like your eye bags and stuff like that, it just is no good. And plus you're not gonna have that glow of you like you would if you would actually have some good sleep. 
cut out soda like only drink water it's good for your skin your health losing weight stuff like that and honestly if you think about it, soda just literally is not good for you like i don't know if you guys seen like all this stuff about like america like what they put in our drinks it's so true you're getting sick for those reasons just cut it out drink a gallon of water a day and if you can't drink a gallon of water a day drink at least like three bottles of water a day that will change you a lot also i found drinking water has helped my bloating like crazy and when i wake up my stomach is flatter than ever work out at least two to five times a week you always want your body moving you don't want to be one of those old people that are like <laughs> you know not there you know just kind of like sitting on their sofa all day because if you're not working out now you're not gonna want to in like 10 years and it's just gonna be bad for your health this is kind of related please wear sunscreen like you don't want to age and stuff like that and look all wrinkly you don't want to get skin just just listen to me please just listen to me girl the girl just listen like i was saying earlier please take some vitamin supplements because most of us aren't getting what we need in our body every single day so it is never a bad thing to invest in some good vitamins especially the ones that help your hair grow and for your skin Okay, this is for confidence because confidence comes with a glow up. If you're not confident, then you're clearly not glowed up. Because if you glow up, then you have some confidence, girl. First of all, walk with your back straight. I hate seeing y'all over here like walking into class or walking around. Just like, I'm just like, girl, stand up. Like, back. Because <sighs> you're going to, this is going to make your body look worse and stuff like that it's just it's not a cute look especially when you're sitting in your seat i guess i you know what i i can say that i do that all the time but i i really don't recommend y'all doing it because i am forming a hump on my back <laughs> make it till you make it i don't care if you had the worst day last night do not come in the class crying about it because that's just gonna like lower how people look at you nobody cares about how you feel remember that nobody cares about how you feel except the people that genuinely love you but you always want people to think that you're happy and stuff like that obviously there's gonna be times where like you're not but don't be that depressed person that when somebody goes near you they can just feel like the sadness like don't be that person don't be the person that compares yourself to everybody like oh man i wish i had her blah blah like no go get it don't speak lowly to yourself i do not want to hear you be like i'm so fat like blah blah like obviously like yes there are people that say that and genuinely mean it like with my tiktok comments and stuff like that like this could this does not target y'all because you guys are genuinely looking to do something about yourself i'm talking about like those friends i'm like i'm so fat i'm so ugly like i'm so depressed like then do something about it because that is really not my problem and that's just gonna bring people away from you and if if you are friends with those people, you're probably going to find other people who are just like that since they're like that. So don't get into that, please. I beg you. I beg you, please. Don't show off. Don't be like, I could go band for band with you right now. I'm flexing all my money, this and that. No, if you have money, people are going to notice. You do not need to tell people you have money and stuff like that. You don't need to be like, oh yeah, I just got this hair. It was like $300. Like, no. If your hair looks expensive, people are gonna be able to tell that your hair is expensive. If you're like, oh, I just got these like this this Louis Vuitton purse and this YSL lipstick, like to be on to be honest with you, nobody cares, bro. Nobody cares, okay? Nobody cares, okay? Like, please, 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 please. It just makes you look like a bee, okay? Remember, beauty comes within. If you're not a nice girl, if you're not a nice girl you're you you're already failing the glow up you shouldn't even be watching this if you're a mean girl you need to be nice to other girls you need to uplift them if they're not uplifting you then just stay away you don't need to, i'm gonna fight you i'm gonna fight you girl that is so ugly stop fighting people stop doing that kind of stuff stop arguing with people if somebody doesn't agree with you on something you guys have a disagreement leave it at that you will not be like oh i hate this girl like no just leave it alone and stop making fun of people, stop judging people. That is not cute. Like, I see TikToks of girls are like, me and my best friend talking like S-H-I-T about people. No, that's not cute. Like, that's so normalized now. It's just so ugly. That's literally why I've cut off so many people in my life because they're so negative and gross. And it's just like, stop. Like, I just can't do it no more. Anyways. <laughs>
done with that rant. Now on to the clothing section. This isn't really clothes, but I guess it's gonna like go with the jewelry. Jewelry is always gonna make you look so much better. Like I love dainty jewelry, but I also love like big jewelry, but you have to know what outfit you're wearing. If I'm wearing like a big Cuban chain with this, do you think that's gonna look good? No, this is, this looks amazing with this. It's dainty, the shirt's little and stuff like that. Like y'all gotta, y'all gotta pick and choose your battles. Buy basic stuff. Like you need your basics for all your stuff so that you can build off of them. Make sure they're not see-through, it's good fabric and it fits you well. Because those are the things, again, like I said, you're gonna build off of those in your next outfit. Dress to balance out your body proportion. There are millions of YouTube videos that show you how to dress for your body. If I have like, let's say I have like this part of me is kind of bigger and then it just gets smaller as I go down, I'm not gonna wear something really tight. I'm gonna wear something probably cinching right here and then some bigger pants to even things out. Stuff like that. Just because the outfit looks good on somebody else does not mean it looks good on you. And I'm telling you the hard truth, okay? People have normalized things so much, and yes, it's okay to be, it's good to be confident, obviously, but you have to really look at yourself and be like, does that actually look good on me, or am I just dressing like this because everybody else is dressing like this? Match your accessories with your colors, stuff like that, so if I'm wearing a green outfit, I'm not gonna go and wear a yellow hat, like I'm literally gonna look like a Sprite bottle, so just remember, you have to dress accordingly. I love the sandwich method when it comes to clothes. I actually use it almost every time I wear an outfit. So if I'm wearing a blue jacket, I'm going to wear some blue like Jordans or stuff like that. Let's just say shoes. I don't know why I said Jordans, but yeah. Look at outfit inspo of girls with similar body types. So my personal favorite thing to do is go on Pinterest and it has like a little selection. You can pick your body type and it will literally show girls with that kind of body type. Crazy, right? Okay, now these are just like a few little tips for yourself. Cut out fake people. Fake people are only bringing you down. I don't know why people find it so hard to sometimes to cut out fake people. I have that. I have struggled with that. And then I look back, I'm like, why was that so hard? Because life is so much better without these fake friends in your business telling you like, oh, you can't do that. Stuff like that. Bring you down negatively. Like, you gotta just, you gotta... You gotta know your worth, especially when it comes to guys and stuff like that. Like y'all just go back to the same. I'm like, this man is cheating on you four times and you're still with him. Like, no, bro, you gotta just, you gotta, you gotta cut that out, please, please, for me, for me at least, for for your sin, whatever that. Meant. Get your money up. You do not want to be stuck with a man or anything. You don't want to go with your friends and be have them paying for your food like you don't want to be that friend you want to be that friend and be like oh dinner's on me tonight like you guys don't have to pay like stuff like that like you want to be that friend that girl what about you want to be that auntie like stuff like that again be more positive positivity creates beauty remember beauty is within you it doesn't always have to be without you when i see if a girl is pretty and she has a bad attitude i automatically think she's ugly i do not care she's gonna be ugly to me that's why literally every person I'm friends with, I literally think they're beautiful because they have the best personalities, they're funny and stuff like that. Okay, so this is like the last thing. It just has like a few little things to it that I just wanted to add. So this is like a little like beauty tips, I guess, just like a little extra. Piercings. Piercings can make you glow up. If you have like one of those cute little nose, I have a nose ring, but there are these nose rings that have like little dangles and stuff like that. I think they're so summery, so cute. Belly button piercings will always make your crop tops and stuff look 10 times better. Body glitter. I started wearing body glitter and it makes things look so much cuter. It makes me look so much cleaner, more fun. I got my body glitter off of Sheen and it is probably one of the best body glitters I've had. Also, you can wear it in your hair and stuff like that and you look so much shinier and cute. Contacts. I love contacts. I'm sure you guys know. I literally have them in right now. I never take them out because they are just like the biggest accessory to me. They are literally a part of my makeup routine. So yeah, you could have brown eyes. Brown eyes are obviously beautiful. All your eyes are beautiful. But if you're looking for a little switch up in your appearance, contacts will always do you good, girl. But yeah, that's the end of my video. Let me know if y'all have any com questions in the comments, stuff like that. Get this to 200 likes and I'll make a glow up series. Yes, a series, okay? But yeah, guys, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys so much. Let me know if these tips helped. And if you guys want me to make a part two or elaborate on something more for just one video, let me know. Because I would love to do that for you guys. Anyways, 
love you guys so much hope this really helped i love making videos for you i'm gonna start posting every other day for this summer so let me know what y'all want because i need ideas back and forth because i might run out of ideas don't forget to like and subscribe remember get this video to 200 likes love y'all so much bye